Hello everyone, Galactic Storm here, and today we are doing a special edition of our Black Ops 3 Weapon Guide. Today, we are going to be re reviewing the NX Shadow Claw, a self-loading crossbow, and it's also semi-automatic. You would find this weapon at the Black Market. Now, what does this weapon entirely look like? This weapon, it doesn't look like anything that you would see, it doesn't look like a crossbow, but the crossbow ornate originates from ancient China, although whichever specific state that made this back in ancient China is still unknown. But it was used and then spread to the east and then it was more used than longbows due to its accuracy and lethality. So let's look at the stats on this thing. The damage on this thing, however, is instant death. It is silent when fired as well, so you won't be being seen in the radar. Range on this thing, it has no range, but you have to lean on this weapon. It has a parabolic arc, and you can all, you have to also lean when it comes to moving targets as well. There is no penetration ability with this weapon. Rate of fire on this thing, however, is one of the slowest in the game, at 200 rounds per minute, and it's semi-auto as well. Aim time is pretty swift, like an SMG, at 200 milliseconds. The hipfire is very narrow, so you can instantly shoot people and get instant kills with this when you're hip firing. Magazine capacity is very low, at just 6 rounds, and it can easily be consumed after a second. Reload times are just as swift as his SMG, at around 2.1 seconds. The recoil on this weapon is very low, and it's seldom a factor when it comes to you know, hitting people with. So, what are we going to be doing with this weapon? We are going to be using, we're not going to be using a spam class that we could just use do will and just spam the living shit out of people. We're not going to be using pure luck. We're going to be using a stealth class we are going to aim before shooting. We're going to be using sensitivity. We are going to be perk heavy and we are going to be trying to flank our opponent as much as possible just to give them a nice surprise. And that would be something more unorthodox. So for our optics, it pretty much depends on your choice. But for us, we are going to be using the LRX3 sight. It has the ranger sight, it's like an ACOG scope but it's for the crossbow. And it has the ranger sight from the, uh, I would say from Black Ops 2, but green. Tri-bolt, uh, not really good. Do wield unless you're a spammer, but we are going to be using the bayonet so we could have one hit kills with our melee, so this thing can double as a combat knife if you run out of ammo or if you're really close. So for perks, we are going to use perk 1 greed and perk 3 greed, so we can have 5 perks in total. The first one is ghost so we won't be so we won't be detected by any UAVs and other stuff. And for our second perk choice we are going to be using six cents but flak jacket can work as well. So we can sense enemies nearby and we can try to stick them as fast as we could in case of short case scenarios. For for the crossbow scavenger is a 100% must because ammo is going to be pretty low and it's going to be all over the place. And for our perk 3 point, you could use Tactical Mask. Well, we're going to be using Tactical Mask for absorbing flashbangs, concussions, and shock charges. And for our last perk choice, we are going to be using Blast Suppressor. So every time we use the thruster, you won't be detected on the minimap. So that would be pretty neat. So what are the pros and cons of this thing? The pros are it's a one-shot kill, the bayonet can double as a combat knife, arrows can be retrieved, cannot be detected while firing on radar, and it's the only secondary good at medium range. Cons of this thing, it has a low ammo, magazine count needs to be accurate, you have to lean with your shots, and it, you're only it's available by the black market. So without further ado, let's go ancient slash medieval on these people.
Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to vote, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Be sure to look at my Facebook page down below. And for this weapon, I've got it on a random rare supply drop. And this weapon's pretty badass. I have no problems with this weapon whatsoever, unlike with the FR. But next time, we are going to go back to regularities and we're going to review the Argus. Until then, Galactic Storm saying, keep charging, bitches.